Hello and welcome to the Lucion video tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about how to search file names and folder names. Now if you haven't already seen our videos on how to set up search indexing and the basics of performing searches in File Center, we suggest you pause now and go take a look at those. It's important that you have search already set up and that you understand what you're doing before you launch into this video. We'll also note that if you're using File Center Professional, you have two search engines available to you, Windows Search and the built-in search engine. In this video, we're only talking about Windows Search. It's only Windows Search that supports some of these advanced queries that we're going to be talking about today. Sometimes your best search results are going to come when you search not the body of your documents, but the file names themselves. When you search the body, you're going to get a lot of results. But if you've been very good about the way you name your files, you can search only the file names and you can get to very specific results very quickly. Now to limit your search to only file names, there's a specific command you need to use. And let's show you how to do that. For example, let's search for file names that contain the word deed. I only want to get deeds. The first thing you do need to do is type the word name followed by a colon. That tells the search engine that we're only searching file names. After that, I can put my, my query. Now notice that the files that have come back all have deed in the file name, regardless of whether the word deed is included in the body of the document. We didn't search the body. We only searched file names. I can even use some of the other tricks that we've learned so far. For example, what if I only want to see quit claim deeds? Well, let's do an exact name search uh, using our quotation marks. So watch this. And now if I execute my search, I only get files with the exact phrase quit claim deed in them. Now this begs the question, can I search for documents by file name and file contents? And the answer is absolutely. For example, let's execute this search. I want to search for documents that have the word will in the name and the word beneficiary in the contents. And when I run this search, there we go. I've got documents that all have will in the name and each one of these documents will have the word beneficiary inside. Well, we've now seen how to focus our search results on just the file name. But what about folder name? Can we look for only files that fall within a certain folder? And the answer to that is yes. Just like the name keyword limited our search results to only file names, there's another keyword called path that will search folder names. Let's take a look at that. Notice I've typed in the word path with a colon. And now I'm going to put in whatever term I want to put. So this is going to search for only files that fall in some folder named Johnson. In other words, Johnson needs to be in the file's path, which is the sequence of folders that a file sits in. And there we go. We see that I've got a lot of results here. The file names themselves don't contain my search term, but that's because my search term is over here. It's in the file's path. All of these fall into folders that have the name Johnson in them. Now you'll notice that I actually have two drawers named Johnson. I have Bob Johnson and Steve Johnson. And it looks like most of these search results came from those two drawers. What if I want to limit my results to only Bob Johnson's drawer? Well, here's how I'll do that. I'll use what I've already learned. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do a, a, a phrase search for Johnson, Bob. And now when I search, I only get results that fall into the Bob Johnson drawer. Well, now let's say that I want to broaden my search a little bit and find anything that's in a folder named Bob Johnson or one for a uh, Lloyd Goodwin over here. Here's how I would modify that search. Come back here to my search and I'm just going to add a second term using that OR operator that we learned about previously.
And there we go. Well, let's come up with a practical use for this feature. Let's suppose that I track all of my time in spreadsheets, which I store in each one of my client drawers. In fact, let's say that I've got a uh, folder here called Unbuild Timesheets, and I place my timesheets in there. What if I want to gather together all of the timesheets for all of my clients across my cabinet? Well, I can use that path search to search for folders called Unbuild Timesheets. Let's see how that works. So I'm searching for paths called Unbuild Timesheets. I execute my search, and there we go. Across all of my cabinet, these are the timesheets that have not been built yet. So there's a quick look at how to search file and folder names. And of course, don't forget that inside of your search, you can always limit your search scope to a specific folder with this selected folder option. That way you can search for files only in one narrow location. Be sure to watch our other videos on how to get the most out of file searching.